Karen's ready to shop. Hello, hi guys. Welcome to my live sale. Happy Wednesday, Side Street Market. Hi, Shelly. I about said Shirley. Hi, Shelly. All right, so I'm in a different area. Do I look a little bit different? Do I look different, Emma? I can't. Is it a different background? I'm I don't know if you've seen, if you saw the live, or not the live, yeah. If you watched the vlog yesterday, then you saw that I, Emma and I changed up the, the space in here. So we've moved my area over a little bit. So things are a little bit different, but, but they're kind of the same. All right. So is my, is the picture blur? Oh, Karen says it's, it's bloody. I turned the Wi-Fi off. Maybe I should turn the Wi-Fi back on. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kathy. Okay. So Emma's going to refresh. I turned the Wi-Fi on. It's pixelated. You never know. Is that better? You know, normally... It's much better now. Shelly says it's much better. Nor let me know, guys, am I buffering? I'm buffering for Emma. So let me know. Yeah, Hi, Mid Hi, Mid-Century Wasted. Oh, it's, yeah, it's still early in California. It's buffering for Jackie. It's storming here right now, so that could be some of the reason. Hi, Lori Ann Sugar Bridges. It keeps freezing. I went out and back in and it's better now. Okay, so Emma says if you refresh, refresh or if you close it out and then cup it, come back in again, then it should be fine. Hi, Michelle. Days of Our Lives and Misty. Oh, boy. I haven't watched Days, in the Lo Days of Our Lives since I was in college. Refreshing helps. Okay, so if you refresh, it should help. It's storming here a little bit, so that could have something to do so with it. What? I am on Wi-Fi. Right. So if the Wi-Fi goes out, it storms. Yeah. Okay. Just well, let me know if, because I want you to be able to see the things that I'm holding up. So if you go back in about five times and come back in, it works. I don't know what's going on with it, but it seems like it's getting, you know, it gets, it gets better and then it gets worse again. Hi, Barb. What are you doing, Emma? Hmm. All right. Hi, Pat. Pat says I'm clear. Okay, so let me go ahead and go through the rundown of what what it is. So welcome to my weekly live sale. I'm Misty, and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, and I also have these live sales every Wednesday at 1 o'clock where I show, I think I have 61 items that I'm showing today, and a lot of smalls. Last week, I showed a lot of big things. I had to pick up a lot, package up a lot of big things last week. So I've stuck with some smalls this week, but that's okay because smalls are fun, right? We all like little, little bitty things. So the way that this works is I'm gonna, huh? See what you look like? Oh, Lord. Just she, so you know if you're, if it's Oh, okay. Working. Emma set up my computer so I can see what I look like. Can I set it on my table? No, 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 you can keep it way over there. Nobody, I mean, say nobody wants to see what I look like, but I guess you all are watching it right now anyway. All right, so what, how this is going to work is I'm going to hold up an item. It has a number. If you want to purchase that item, then the first person to, um, to claim the number in the chat will be the winner. Emma is manning the chat. Emma is my daughter. She is going to be 21 years old in September. My son is going to be 18 in two weeks. So I, I'm an old lady. We'll see if I can, let's see if I can get through this. A week. A week. Today's the eighth. Yeah, a week. In my 23rd, second, I've been married for a long time. My anniversary, more than I've been born. my anniversary is on Saturday and we're going thrifting and yard selling for our anniversary. That's just what we do. Okay. So you will need to send me an email with your at thrifter junker vintage hunter with your um your your e, your youtube name your actual name your shipping address and your paypal email 
So I'll eat all of those things. Tell daughter to come and say, oh, she will not come and say hello. I, I, I can try. Oh, your anniversary is Saturday too? Yeah, 7-Eleven. We've been married for 22 years. 22 years. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to try something a little bit different. So Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. had a little thing last week. And she had a few things that she did as... I don't want to say as an auction but like you would tell your price like i would start it and then you guys would just kind of go in increments so i have three things i'm going to try that this week with and we'll see how it goes so when i get to those things i'll like announce that they're, they're going to be done in a little bit different of a way and so you will know so emma has a timer and she's going we're going to try it okay is that gonna be cool? Are we gonna try it? We're gonna try it and see how it goes. We may hate it and never wanna do it ever again, but I, I was just curious to see how it would go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The, oh, and a lot of these things are things that I got from George from his estate sale that I went to a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna be going live again tonight at five Eastern Standard Time with George. and. I saved some of the things that I bought from him that weren't in the haul video so we can talk about it a little bit further. So that's going to be at 5 o'clock today, Eastern Standard Time. Hi, Laura. Hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This is one of the things that I did pick up from George's sale, and I just thought it was real fun and cool. It kind of matches my shirt. It's a good day to be happy. It is a good day to be happy, even though it's raining and storming here. But this is a little mirror. Isn't that fun? I, it, it's made out of wood. You see, it's a mirror. So it's a little hand mirror. I just, I don't know. I just really liked it. You know, I like things with faces on them. And I just liked her happy little face. So I just think that she would just be cute, right? And she is cute. She's hand painted. George didn't really know much about her either. She does have a little bit of like a little chip up there, but she is made out of wood. I just thought it was fun. It's just a happy little mirror. So this is, how much are you? It's $8 and it is number 21. $8, number 21, the little hand mirror. And you'll notice that some of these tags have the, I've been trying to recycle my tags, so that's why you might notice some scribbles. I'm trying to use them until I can't use them any longer. I have Barb. Barb! Barb, you won the mirror. And listen, Emma is going through and she is double checking the chat to make sure that, you know, whoever won, whoever was first was actually first. So, super chat turned off. I turned to super chat off mainly because you know that YouTube keeps 30% of your super chat. I didn't like that. And honestly, if you just want to support me, just keep watching my videos and purchase something from me if you want to. Leave a comment. Leaving comment, that's a way that you can support me. So I just turned off super chat. I just, and it's kind of uncomfortable when someone gives you money, they're just giving you money and you're like, thanks. So I just turned it off. But thank you, Pat, for the offer. So just, yeah, just watch my videos, leave a comment, all that kind of stuff. That's that's a way that you can support someone on YouTube without having to send a... You, okay, Nate. Oh, someone asked if Nate was an insomniac. No, Nate is in um, New, Zealand, New Zealand. So it's like a whole different time zone where Nate is. And there's going to be some um, sirens. Yeah, we are on our little square in our town, so we do hear sirens often. Okay, I have another little mirror that I got from George's sale. It's just this little fish mirror. I did clean it up. It's just a little plastic fish. It is not made of Bakelite, but look at it. Isn't it cute? Little fat fish. It is a little mirror on that side. See, you can kind of see. Emma has my computer screen. Oh, you can't see. Oh, there's Emma. You can't see her. There she is. Okay, anyway, it's a cute little fish. It's sort of a, it's a yellow collar, like a little sunny yellow collar. I just thought it was so cute. George liked it too. We kind of talked about it a little bit, but this little fish is, where'd you go? My computer's buffering, so you might have to come with me. Emma's computer is buffering. 
This is $6 for the little fish mirror. Hi, Alex. And it is number 15. Number 15 for the little fish mirror. Little hand mirror. Number 15. Do you see it, Emma? Is it buffering? Okay, I see Lori Kiltsey. Lori Kiltsey, you won the mirror. Number what? Number 15. Oh, no. no? It's number 22. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't mark it down. It's number, well, we'll just say it's not Lori Kiltsey won it. All right, next I have, again, these are lots of smalls because they're easier for me to ship because the last week was all the big things. These are just two. Now, I didn't get these from George's. I think I got these when I went on a, to another antique mall, but they're little amber. I don't know if they were butter pats or what they were, but there's just two of them. It's an amber colored glass. I don't know the pattern. I don't know. They might be Ellie Smith. I'm not so sure, but I just thought that they were pretty. I thought they'd be neat for um, a little candle holder. So they are $6 for the set of them. And they are number 11. Number 11 for the set of two little candy tiara. See, Ricky, see, I always say I wish I could carry Ricky around in one pocket and George around in the other pocket. And then I would be set. I would know all this stuff. So Ricky said that they are tiara glass, Indiana glass tiara. I have side street. Side street market, you want them. So Ricky, you need to come and be in my pocket. And then I can carry George in my other pocket. And then I will learn all of the glassware. Because, listen, I've been around antiques my entire life, but I don't know glassware. I like the ceramics and, and such. Okay, I did see, I think I saw Elderly Poodle in the chat. I think I just saw her. But I'm going to show a poodle. I did pick this poodle up from George's. It's a poodle schnooda, Michelle. Say the poodle schmooda. He's wearing a, or she's wearing a little flower necklace. She's got a little spaghetti on her tail and on her ears and on the tufts of her, of her hair underneath her hat. She's so fancy. Now she feels like a bisque, you know, I don't like the feel of bisque. We've just, we've had this discussion before. She is very cute. Look at her little face. So she is $10. And she is number 33. She's a little pale pink poodle. $10, number 33. Your bell notice didn't work. I know there's something that you have to do in YouTube to get the notifications. And I can't, I can't remember what it is. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. It's so cute. Yeah, Randy, Randy likes dogs and poodles too, don't you, Randy? Oh, it's a little Wedgwood necklace. It does look like a little Wedgwood necklace. All right. Now, this next item I'm going to show, it, I, and I think it was in a video. My dad bought this lace panel, curtain panel. Um, let me see. There is a tag on it. And I we kind of had a, a discussion on it if, and people said, Oh yeah, they, they, you should set, you should show that you should show it. So it's made in China, <laughs> polyester 35% and cotton. So it's a polyester cotton mix. It's a, just a lace. Vest. And the kind of neat thing that's on it is where you put the curtain rod on it are these little circles here. So that's how you, it just kind of makes it look kind of pretty when you hang it up. They're round. They kind of look like they're heart shaped here. But you know, you could use this as a curtain balance. It's pretty big. Or you could, you know, use it for crafts or whatever. But I told dad that I would try to give it a sale. I don't know what the measurements are. I kind of grabbed it at the last minute because I forgot. So I didn't, I could have Emma measure it real quick. <laughs> Emma, you want to measure this real quick? Well, it's, it's, it's long. I would say, I mean, I'm five foot four. I would say it's at least 
eight feet long, at least. Emma's gonna measure it, but uh, there's a tape measure right there. So I told dad that I would give it a try and we'll see. You are so lagging. Okay, Connie, if you're lagging, close it out and come back in again or refresh because people were having that problem earlier when they did that, it seemed to help. Hi, B. All right, while Emma is measuring that, let's just see. Oh, bye, mermaid. Hi, Stacy. I was say eight and a half, nine feet. Oh. Emma said eight and a half, nine feet, but it's $8 for the panel. I'll show it to you one more time. Thank you, Emma. Welcome. It's really pretty. $8 for the panel. You can see the end is kind of scalloped. Uh, and it is number 61. Number 61, $8 for the lace panel. Just got a... 61, I have Mystique Antiques. Mystique Antiques. There you go, Dad. I sold your curtain panel. Sold your curtain panel. He'll be so happy. All right. And it is really storming. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna storm today either. Okay, who likes redware? I like redware. Hi, Rita. Hi, Crappy Jackie. Oh, thanks, Maria. I ordered it on Etsy. I order all my shirts on Etsy, it seems like. I just thought it was, it was a happy shirt. You have a t-shirt addiction. I have a t-shirt addiction, I do. But this is a little redware iron. Yep, it is. Corey likes redware, yes she does, but I think Corey likes redware animals this is a redware iron it's a little trinket dish so it might be a little sewing box uh, it isn't marked are you marked japan it has an embossment here that i can't i can't make out i don't think that it says japan but it could so that's the only marking that's on it i can't really make it out what it says but very has a little uh painted flowers on it there aren't any chips or damage at all. It's freezing. Wait. Okay. I'm getting worried about the buffering. But it is $8 and it's number five. $8, number five for the Redware Iron Trinket box. I have Side Street Market. Side Street Market. Okay, this little guy was in the video of me shopping with George. It's a sugar bowl. Has a matching salt and peppers out there. Okay, Barb, great. That's a big honking sugar bowl though, but it's cute. Okay, so this little guy was in my video. I saw him when I was shopping at George's and I just thought he was so cute. I think that he's well, he's, I don't know if he's a home painted piece. I, don't, I know, I kind of think that he's painted too well to be a home painted piece. Look at his little eyelashes. He's got this gold paint trim. So I just thought that he's really cute. I thought that he was holding a gun, but apparently he's holding a saw. He's a little mouse and he's got his little toolbox right there. I just thought it was so cute. I like little things. So this would look Cute, just in a little shadow box shelf. He's got a little handkerchief out of his back pocket. And he's only $3. And it is number 27. $3 for number 27 for the cute little mouse. He's a little carpenter mouse. Yeah, he's a little carpenter mouse. And he's kind of one of those things I thought, if he doesn't sell, I'm just going to keep him. Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater. He's so cute. So yeah, if you have a carpenter in the family, he could be a little representation of that. This is something else that dad brought in a couple days ago. Um, I'm not sure where he got it from, but it's a little copper shoe. Do y'all remember back in the day when people used to have their baby shoes put in bronze or copper? This could be bronze. No, I think that it's copper because of the patina that's got going on there. So. It was just an odd thing. Like this is like an actual shoe and then they would they would dunk the whole thing in copper. 
But you know what this would be cute? This would be cute as a little planter, right? Little baby shoe. It is marked on the bottom. It says 255, which could have been the shoe marking itself. But do you remember bronzing shoes? It was a thing. It was a thing. So this cute little baby shoe dad picked up, which make would make a very good description or a very good planter. How are people seeing the numbers before you? You need to refresh, Stacy. Refresh. Sometimes you have to come all the way out and then come back in again. So the you just found yours, Rita. Yeah, this used to be a thing. So this little shoe is eight dollars and it's number fifty nine. Eight dollars, number fifty nine. For the little brass shoe or bronze shoe. You have your dad's baby shoes that were bronze. Amy oh, wow. Crawford. Amy Crawford. Hi, Amy. Amy, I saw that you had sent me an email. I haven't even checked emails very well today, so I will be checking back on that. All right. Next, I have... This was in the video I with, of me shopping at George's, and I did consider consider keeping this because it's so cute but it's the little captain kid uh little box and it says a pin it's, a, it's actually a bank a penny saved is a penny earned what were you doing oh it's raining really hard and i thought she might have her window rolled down but it has the little ship on the side and the little like a place but on the top it says captain kid and it does have the the bottom the plug in it and i loved that someone had scratched in captain kid now it's just so cute oh andrea it's been raining here and stormy here for a while so it's probably coming your way so this little box is ten dollars and it is number 44 $10, number 44, for the little Captain Kid bank. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Sometimes it helps, too, if you completely close YouTube and then come back in again. That has helped me sometimes when I'm watching other live sales and my mind keeps buffering and stuff. Okay. This was another item that I purchased for George's, and it's something that I considered keeping, but I decided to sell it because I'm running out of space. And it's this little top hat planter, or was a toothpick. It might have been a toothpick holder. I tend to call everything planters because I like to use things as air plants, you know? Oh yeah, Shirley brought up a good point too. Make sure that you're in live chat. Hi, Mark. Constellation Pegasus says, I am returning your email too. I still have your, your girl sitting over here. She keeps staring at me. So she either needs to put some clothes on or I need to ship her to you. But this has like a little dragonfly on it. Kind of looks like it just has this little drip glaze. It does have some gold uh, trim around it. It's in really good condition. Just needs to be cleaned out a little bit and I will clean it before I send it to you. Really pretty. Um mauve glaze it has a little spot right here where the glaze just kind of chipped off a little bit but cute for an air plant which you know is my obsession lately air plants are great because you find these little toothpick holders and stuff a lot and it just you can give an air plant you can give a vessel a new life by putting a air plant in it so this is six dollars and it's number 23 Six dollars, number 20, 23 for the cute little top hat shaped toothpick holder, but probably for an air plant would be perfect. I have Annette Miller. Annette Miller, that will go to you. Speaking of the air plants, Hello. we will we'll go on to this. Mm -hmm. This was something else that I was going to keep, but then I decided Again, that I'm running out of space to put these little things, but it's this cute little Dimitas mug. It's really, it's, it's porcelain, so it's really fine and really delicate. And it is, this was the one that was made in Oakland, California. H-T-E, 
I know I, I said it in the um, the haul video, but it's just a little, little little petite little mug with gold trim. I love this color. You know, it's like a moth to a flame when I find anything with the seafoam green color. This little cup is three dollars, and it's number thirty five. There's no chips or flaws on it. Three dollars, number thirty five. You could do a little shot in this glass too. I just thought it was really pretty. Emma's talking to my son. Um, oh. Joel Nadel. Joel Nadel. Don't forget if you have haven't purchased from me before, um, you need to send me an email thrifter junk or vintage hunter at gmail.com if you have purchased from me within the last month or so i've got all your information and i'll be tomorrow we'll be working on invoices okay i got a pillow i've got a pillow that i'm going to show in the youtube sale as well as over in the instagram sale these are made by my mom and she's getting ready to move back to florida so they're going to be a little bit fewer and far in between to come by but it is a pillow made from a vintage quilt square. She added a little heart-shaped doily, and she does use vintage buttons on each side. This one has a little navy blue button. Hi, fat birds. And uh, this, it was really pretty. I like the pink trim around it. I sold one similar to this last week. This one is, that's not right. It's $12, and it is number 25. I'm going to take a drink. My son is watching Maybell. So, and he called because she had a little accident on the floor, and do Jaden doesn't know how to figure that, how to clean that up. Vintage, oh, Katie, refresh or close out and come back in again. We're having an issue with the buffering lately. Okay, I have a little piece of lusterware that I got when I bought all of the dogs. I love this. I love the lusterware. And I love these little dogs on here. It's a little ashtray. Uh, but, you know, you could use it as a little trinket dish or a jewelry dish. It is these cute little dogs on here with the peach luster all the way around. It is marked Japan on the bottom. Could be like a little nice little um, vanity dish buffering if you're if you're buffering close out and then come back in again that's that that seems to help oh hi Stacy. oh i'm sorry stacy okay well i hope you're doing better she's been in the hospital okay so this guy is $12. There's no chips or flaws on it anywhere. It's in really good condition. And it is number 60. Number 60 for the little Japan Lusterware dogs. Number 60. Chantilly Chandra, there's that name again. Chantilly Chandra. It just kind of rolls off the tongue. I like it. Chantilly Chandra. Uh, I hear you, but the picture is buffering on your thumbnail. What? That is pretty odd. I don't know. Okay, so let's try your linen. This is super cute. I love this one. All of the linens that I'm going to show you today are ones that I did buy from George's estate sale. This one I love. It's a little tea towel. And it has the this little dog. And I was telling Jeffrey, it kind of looks like Stella. So Stella is leading the, the troops on the 4th of July dressed up as Uncle Sam. Doesn't that look like Stella? So it has the little needle point here. And then on the bottom, it has a little orange and brown trim. There is some staining on this piece, though. Oh, it also has a little bit of trim on the on the top. There is some yellowing and some staining on this piece. I wash all of the linens, but I don't treat them. So this is $8, little tea towel, with a little Scotty looking dog, little terrier dog, and it is number 51. $8, number 51, 
This will be cute made into a pillow too. Eight dollars number fifty one for the Vicky little Haney. Vicky Haney. That's so cute. Okay, this was also I purchased this from George. It does have a little bit of a damage on one of the little flowers. The petals is broken off, but it's a Norcrest, Norcrest Swan. There's the label. It's kind of a pearlized with gold accents. But like I said, one of the flowers right there, the bottom petal is missing. But very, very pretty. It's very clean and it would be great to use. I think it would be neat to put um, makeup brushes in here. So the little Norcrest Swan is $10 and it is number 18. $10, number 18 for the Norcrest Swan. Trinket dish. Kelly Miller. Kelly Miller. All right, these I purchased a couple, about a month or so ago down at the antique mall that I went to with my friend. These do have an issue on them though. And I, I kept the little sticker that the person had said. What? Oh, it says this shaker, this one right here, was infused with glue to prevent further damage. You really can't tell. Aren't they cute? You keep getting kicked out. Why, Michelle? Um, it is, you can see here it has a little bit of cracking on it, but apparently they said that they have infused it with glue. So, I, you know, these are going to be more of a decor piece. They are made in Japan super cute though just as a decor piece i like all of the the embossment and the squirrel work on them but so this one does have a little bit of cracking and crazing on it these are how much are these they're eight dollars and they are number three eight dollars number three for the little owl salt and pepper shakers Um, no, hmm, I'll leave it up to you. What do you I think? think she's still type three. Okay, Emma said Shirley. She's still type three. She put a W in front of it, but Shirley Pearl, you got the owls. And Michelle, I've got lots of salt and pepper shakers, so have no fear. I have salt and pepper shakers, lots of them. Thunder. Okay. Again, now this is the last one for a while that I'm showing because I'm, I can't clean out all of my stash, but they're these cute little wooden salt and pepper shakers. I have a lot of these, so I'm, you know, I'm just trying to make some room for some more little, little things. So some of these I am going to have to sell. They are these little wooden salt and pepper shakers, which I love. I do collect these. Now, this one has the stopper and this one does not, but they're super fun. I love that they're just little, little nuts that you can put up on a shelf. You can see I have one right there, a little solo man. He doesn't have his partner. So he's sitting up there on the shelf. So these are $5 for the set and they are number 15. $5 for the set, number 15. You just lost all your internet, Laura. What is going on in the world? I have Joelle Nadel. Joelle Nadel. Okay. Oh no, oh, USI has a tornado warning. Not a tornado warning here yet. We'll see, but you know, we're in Indiana. Tornadoes are, they don't scare us. I mean, they do but it's not anything that we're not used to. Okay, so let's, do you guys wanna try one of the auction things? Like auction things? Yes, I am about two hours south of Indianapolis. Let's try the fairy lamp. It would make for an interesting sale tornado. Now listen, this building has been here for about 
for over a hundred years. So I think it'll it'll withstand. Hi, Michael. Michael's here, guys. Okay, we're going to do this little auction on this fairy lamp. It is an Indiana glass stars and bars amber fairy lamp. I have, uh, I think, three more fairy lamps that I will do every week in these live sales. So this is the one that I'm doing this week. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks or flaws on it anywhere. Um, this is going to be one of the things that I'm going to accept offers on. And so how this will work is Emma has a timer and she, as soon as I say, or as soon as she pushes timer, she, she's going to type in start and you can start making offers on this piece. I'm going to start it at $10 and we're going to do dollar increments. So it's going to start at $10. It's going to go on for one minute and we're going to start at eight. Okay, so Emma's going to let me know. Oh, you're going to type it in? Or should I just say start? Okay, so she's going to hit the timer, and I'm going to say start. We're going to start the offers at $10, and as soon as um, it's, well, she's going to give a alert. Well, I'll just tell you. I'll just give you the rundown of the time. Stop. She's going to type in stop when it's time to stop, so we will know which offers will be the cutoff. Okay, Fab Finds Fairy, refresh if you're buffering. All right, here we go. And we're going to start the offers now. So the, we're going to, I'm starting this at $10. So it is an Indiana Glass Stars and Bars Fairy Lamp. So we're starting the offers at $10. Okay, we have $16. So the offers right now is at $16. Now I have eight. Woo, $22. Hi, Yvonne. Emma, are you keeping track? $23, 24 $25. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. So we're at $25 for the Ellie Smith or I'm sorry, Indiana Glass. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left. 26, 30. Three. Three, two. Timer went off. And I have Fab Finds Fairy for $30. Fab Find Fairy at, is that who you have, Emma, before your? That's the highest bid, yeah. Before you hit stop? Okay, so $30, Fab Finds Fairy. When's the fairy lamp? Well, that's coincidence. That was kind of fun, but I think that I would go a little crazy. So I probably will do this every week with just a few things. I do have two more things that I will be doing that with. Um, so let's move on, shall we? Okay, so I have a little table runner here. This is one that I picked up from George. It is a linen table runner you can kind of see the linen lines there the, the price that it went to. yes okay. uh this one has there are a couple little little spots little holes in it it has been laundered but it has not been treated but i'm really not seeing i see one little stain right there and it has nice little blue, baby blue trim around it and this is eight dollars and it is number 50. $8, number 50. No, I, yeah, I couldn't imagine doing that for the wholesale, Michael. I would go crazy. $8, number 50. It's really pretty with the yellow and blue. Who do you have, Emma? 50, I have Lori C. Lori C. All right, I have something here that is, these are vintage but they're not like vintage, vintage. They're probably vintage. Where is the thing? Do you have a number on these? What is it? These little zoo animals. Oh, wait, here they are. Are they numbered? Are they that number? 
I'll go ahead, the, the press tag fell off. But I picked up these. They are made by Burwood Products, but they are these little plastic, they're plastic zoo animal wall hangings. I just thought that they were really cute. Probably from the 90s. Oh, Maria, you have a major headache. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better, Maria. Uh, this, I have the zebra, the orangutan, gorilla, gorilla. I think that's a gorilla. Look at his face. So happy. These are really cute for him. The tiger, and then the little chubby elephant. They are marked Burwood on the back, made in the USA. Now, originally there was a giraffe that went with this. So it was a five piece set when it was sold originally. And so unfortunately we don't have the giraffe, but we have all of the other animals here shown. These are $10 for, you get all four of them for $10 and they're number 37. Number 37 for the set of four zoo animal wall hangings. Put that tag back. Side Street Market. Um. Oh, <laughs> I we we have Xfinity, which is Comcast. It isn't my favorite either, but you know they kind of have you where they want you because there's not a lot of choices. Salt and pepper shaker alert! Should I do that every time I hold up a salt and pepper shaker? Because I have a lot of them today. I've got some swans. These were in my uh, live haul that I did not too long ago. Hi, Anna Mora. I think they're swans. Maybe they're ducks. I don't know. Do you guys think that these are swans or are they ducks or goose? Geese? I don't know. They're these birds. They have their stoppers. Hi, Dee. They have their stoppers. They're in excellent condition. They are six dollars geese. Okay, everybody's saying they're geese. They're geese. They're six dollars and they're number twenty. They don't have blue bows around their necks though. They are geese. And they are six dollars for number twenty. They do kind of make a little heart shape when you put them together. I have Teresa Bryant for twenty. Teresa Bryant. And you pour the salt and pepper out of their necks. That, that's the other thing about salt and pepper shakers that I like is where the stuff comes out. At. Sometimes they're kind of funny where the salt and pepper shaker, the salt and pepper comes out of. Have you shown um, wooden salt and pepper shakers? Yes. Good they are number 15. Um, they were $5. Joel Needle got the salt Joel Needle got the Needle. wooden salt and pepper. What? Needle. Joanne. Joel. Joel Needle. Nadal. Joanne Nadal, you got the wooden salt and pepper shaker. You Did I say it wrong again? Yes, Joel. Joel Nadal. I'm so sorry, Joel. I'm horrible at names. Just ask. There's several people who are, have purchased from me, and I, I completely hack up their names. I don't mean to, but it happens. Okay, how about brooch? Now, I'm getting down to my last little um, sets of brooches. So, I'm on the hunt for some more brooches. Yes, I did get my pink drink. Well, it's the one with lemonade and not with milk. No puppy today. We'll probably bring her out here next week. I'm just trying to get her used to bringing her, you know, getting her used to being in our house. And we, Emma and I drove here separately, so... It's kind of not really, really safe to bring her while we're driving. I did order her a little puppy or a little dog car seat, which I know sounds so precious, doesn't it? But she is pretty precious. So we want to be able to bring her here safely. So that's why. I know Joelle is a pretty name. And this is a pretty brooch. It is a flower brooch. It's very sparkly, and pink and green and pretty. It has the little lobster claw clasp on the back piece of costume jewelry there's no there's no name on it there's no maker's mark on it it is ten dollars and it's number 53 ten dollars number 
for the really pretty flower brooch. Shoes, <laughs> Suzanne, Suzanne McLean. I'm tripping over my. No, they did not spike my drink. I'm tripping over my words today. I'm sorry. Yes, I agree. I, I don't want to bring Maybelle without having her, you know, properly restrained in just for her safety and for our safety. Okay, let's do a rolling pin. I have a couple rolling pins here. I'll do the blue one first. Now, these are not that old, but I, I have a red one and a blue one. And they're like this one I think is more like a child size. This one might be too, but I like them displaying them together. I like to put rolling pins in a crock or a paint can. You know, it's just fun to add th to add things with color. And I think that these have really fun colors. I should have probably sold them a couple weeks ago for the 4th of July, but I didn't. So, they are really clean. I mean, you could use these. I have a rolling pin that was one of my great grandmothers that I use um, all the time. It has the green handles on it. So these are very functional and they make good decor pieces as well. N yeah, Michelle, I have some in a big basket um, as well. I like rolling pins. So the, this one is $4 and it is number 14. $4 number 14 to, for the blue handled rolling pin. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I am really close to 9,000 subscribers, so that's exciting for me. So I'm hoping to be able to hit that 9,000 subscriber count soon. Um, I have Jared Elkins. Jared Elkins. All right. You're so bad at numbering. Uh-huh. Did I number them wrong? Yeah. Oh, good grief. How about Easter? Are y'all ready for Easter? Easter's coming. Easter's coming. Because they're going to be it's going to be the same similar number. And I have to like spread them out or people will get mad. They'll be able to predict the number. It's either a number up or a number down. So I'll do the red one here in a few minutes. Okay. Laura, you have kittens? Ooh. Okay, so this was in I got this from George's and it was in my shop with me at George's. I know I'm I'm excited, Michael. But we'll see if it doesn't. If I don't get um, nine thousand subscribers by August, it's okay. It's okay. So this is a little chick, and he's a little well. Um, he looks uh, like he's had a rough life. He doesn't have his beak anymore. But this is those paper, sort of like the putts houses, made out of that kind of papery cardboard. He's a little shaped like it. His body is shaped like an Easter egg, but he's textured like he has um, feathers. He has his eyes, but he has no beak. But you know, you could add a beak on there. And he's got, he's the one that has the bumpy butt, his humps, his, his lovely chicky humps. So he's really cute. And these are getting hard to find. Anything Easter, vintage Easter is getting pretty hard to find. And I just think that he's fun. He is $6. And he's number 19. He does need some TLC. He, yeah, he is kind of a little scary, maybe. But <laughs> I think he's kind of cute. Six dollars, number 19. C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie, you'll give him a good home. I know it. I just think that he's just fun. He's nice and light to ship to California. He is nice and light to ship to California, too. So that's a, that's a plus. Okay, so Jared is still watching, I think, but, oh, Michael, I would say he's probably from the 40s, would be my guess. Okay, so Jared Elkins lives, Jared, you're what? You're about half an hour north or so of me. And he saw my haul of the baseball glove with the bowling ball. And I got this from George's, and I didn't even realize until I did the haul video was um this a bowling ball and it's a baseball mitt so jared sent me a picture he went to goodwill and he has he has the baseball mitt with the baseball and i have the baseball mitt with a bowling ball so you know it is what it is uh 
they don't have stopper. Actually, this one, I don't even think, this one's not even a shaker. This one was a shaker. It doesn't have the stopper in it. So I'm not sure that these even go together. I mean, they fit like a glove. <laughs> Did you get that? You know, it fits re really nice in there. So, you know, uh, if you have someone in your life that loves bowling and baseball, well, you can combine it into one thing. Uh, these, this is $8 and it is number 36. $8, number 36 for the baseball bowling combo. Suzanne McLean, you've got a good sense of humor. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, this is a shaker. It doesn't have a stopper, but you can shake it. I wonder, do you set up like that? No, it doesn't set up like this. It is supposed to lay. Well, yeah, that would be true. Yeah, you wouldn't want it to set up like that because the holes would make all the salt fall out of it. Okay. Oh, Nate, you got your hottie bottles? I hope you're feeling better. Okay. What shall I... Oh, let's do this guy. I got him from George as well. He's so cute. And I actually, as with many of things, I've considered keeping him because I consider keeping a lot of the things that I buy. But he's just this cute little... I don't know what his partner was in the day, but to me, he kind of looks like a cabbie. So maybe it was a taxi cab. Maybe it was just another dog, but he's so cute. And I like that he's just kind of standing, like he's just not taking anybody's crap. He does have his stopper. He's marked Japan on the bottom. And I don't know, Randy maybe knows what this little emblem is. It looks like a little face, kind of. Super cute. I love his colors. The the mint green with the yellow hat. So he also would just look cute just, you know, sitting on a shelf. So I just I just like this kind of stuff. Um he is six dollars and he is number forty-three. Six dollars, number forty-three. He's from the hood. <laughs> Sherry Crater. Yeah. Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater, this is a good guy. He doesn't have any, any flaws on him either, but I just thought he was super cute. He was just sitting on the shelf just waiting, just waiting on somebody to, to take him home. All right, let's do a tablecloth. I got two tablecloths that I'm going to show. This one is really pretty. I did get the, this one from George as well. Let me find the tag so I can make sure I'm not showing the tag to anybody. This is a like a card table size uh tablecloth so on each four corners it has this really pretty bouquet i call these amber waves of grain I, I, that's not what they're called but that's just what i call them with the bows it's really pretty so it has the design all the way around each four corners uh it's very let me just double check there are a couple little spots on it here. They're clean. They've just not been treated. So I always say that because, well, I think it's worth mentioning. So this tablecloth, now where is the price? I know that's $12 and it is number 48. $12, number 48. You know, and this could be cute in the spring, summer, or fall, really, because of those wheat Amber Waves of Grain. Connie Emmerich. Connie Emmerich. You got the really pretty floral tablecloth. Okay. This I also bought at George. A lot of this stuff, I'm gonna, you're going to hear me say that a lot because most of the stuff is the things that I bought from George. I have another bank, and this one's Baby's Bank. See the little baby on there? It does have the stopper um, and you can just twist it off to get the money out so you can get it open. But it looks like a little book almost. But I love the little baby that's on it. There's no markings on it. It doesn't say who made it or where it was made. But it's a really pretty vintage pink color. It's kind of showing up a lot lighter than what it actually is. But let's see if I can use this pillow maybe. Is that making there? It's making it stand up out a little bit more. 
really cute. This would be great to give as a baby shower gift. It is $10 and it is number 31. $10, number 31 for the baby's bank. Michael, I am going to probably put the Florence pieces um, in on eBay. Sabrina Re Rezor? Sabrina Rezor. I'm going to try, I don't know, I, I, I'm wanting to try to have the eBay preview video on Friday. I, I'm working on it. I've just been kind of out of sorts with having the puppy so i'm i'm a little behind on things all right this is my last pie bird that i'm selling i am not doing any clothes today i'm going to do a clothing sale it's going to be on a different day it's going to be during the day probably around the same time but i'm probably going to do like many a mini sale doing it at home. no well i may i may do some at home Emma and I haven't talked about it. I have a lot of vintage clothing that I really need to sell, but I don't want to combine it with hard goods because I myself don't like watching sales if I'm just in the mindset of buying something hard goods. I don't want there to be clothing in it or vice versa. So I'm going to have these little mini sales throughout the week. Um, and I may do them on Instagram. I may do them on YouTube. I haven't decided yet, but I need, I need to move this clothing because it's just taking up a lot of space and I'm going to sell them for a much, uh, discounted price than what they are worth. So you can resell them if you are a reseller. Um, I am selling the jewelry box here very soon. I'll, I'll maybe I'll do that next. So let me show this and then I will do it next. Oh, I, <laughs> I didn't mean to coordinate with the background, but I guess I kind of am. So that's, I try to make it happy. I like the bright colors. Okay. This is my last pie bird. I love this one. It's just a little nugget. It's a crow robin. <laughs> it looks like it has a robin's body and a crow head. But I, I like the pie birds. This is a little nugget one. He has just a little chip in his nose right there where the um the glaw the glaze have just kind of chipped off he has a little bit of red on his beak but i love the pie birds i say it all the time because they just add some interest to a display and you can use them i have never used a pie bird when i've made a pie but you can use them and it's supposed to do something i don't know what the purpose is i'm sure you guys will be able to say something with the steam the way that it cooks or cooling it i don't know but i just like them for just a decor piece it's the steam yeah i knew it was had something to do with that michael um this is eight dollars and it is number seven he's just a little a little nugget of a pie bird eight dollars number seven yeah emma has made maybell an instagram page so if you want to keep following maybell on instagram you can do that she's made her an instagram page i have some tea Sue T. Sue, I'm not going to attempt to say your name because I'm butchering everybody's names today. And Sue knows that I've had problems saying her name. She's a lovely name. I just can't say it. It doesn't come out of my mouth. Oh, Nate's already following Maybell. She, listen, guys, she is so stinking sweet. We are so lucky. She's a very good puppy. How good she is. She's sitting. She's working on going, you know, when you want her to lay down. She's sleeping through the night. She's going on potty pads. She's, she's just good. Okay. Now, let's do the jewelry. And we're going to do it the same way that we did the fairy lamp. I'm going to start it. Let me show it to you first. It's going to be a little hard to show. I would say this probably weighs about seven pounds. Emma, you want to go weigh this real quick? Let me show it to you, and then I'll have Emma weigh it. But it's just, it's filled with jewelry. Let me have her weigh it real quick, and I'll, I'll explain. A lot of it is clip-on earrings. And I, I debated on how I wanted to do this. I, I talked to Jeffrey about it a little bit because I don't really, I don't want to sit down and, and try to pair up all of the pairs of clip-on earrings. Four pounds. Okay, it weighs four pounds. I was off. 
So I just didn't know how I wanted to do this. And we had talked about that he had sold jewelry lots on eBay just as a big lot. So I thought that this would be the best way for me to do it and take up less of my time. I would call this, well, I, so let me, I'll show you some of the pieces. There are some beautiful brooches. Now this is like really thin metal. So to me, it's, it's the, probably from the 30s, 40s. This was a brooch at one time, but the brooch part has been removed. So now, I mean, you can make it a brooch again. Um, there is also, this was a brooch at one time as well. Has that really thin metal on it. Um, but a lot of them are clip-on earrings. So ones that are um, they in good condition? On it, some they things. are. The majority of them are in really good condition. There are a few that, like, look at that one. Isn't that pretty? They're clip-on earrings. There are a few of them that, just a couple, not a whole lot, that has some stones missing. Let me see if I can find one in here. Like, this one right here was once a brooch, but the the, claw, the lobster claw is still there, but the 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 band isn't there. But it has, is that, are you a jewel missing? No, it doesn't have a jewel missing, but the jewels are kind of cloudy. And I mean, a lot of clip-on earrings. This one is missing a back. I don't know if it was an earring or if it was a brooch. Definitely could be used for a crafting lot. But honestly, a lot of the, oh, you know what? Let me just tell you, you're going to get a deal on this because I just, I don't know if these are, if a lot. A lot of them are branded, but this one is. I just, I just found one, and this one's Weiss. So if you know anything about vintage jewelry, you know that that is a good, that's a good maker. So there's at least one set of branded earrings in here. So I, I just, I don't have time to sit and look through all of this. I know what I paid for it. So this one has a name on it too. I can't make it out, but. You're going to get a, you know, it, it's, it's four pounds worth of jewelry. This is a big, that's a big earring. It is a clip-on earring. Oh, and it has a name on it too. What are you? A patent pending. I'm not sure. You're probably not going to be able to see it either. It's right down there. You see them? I don't know. But I know a lot of people will use these as hair clips, which is really fun. I wish I, I mean, I would look silly with a t-shirt on and some fancy clip-on earrings, but they're really pretty. So I'm going to do this the same way. Oh, look at the dangly one. It's got dingly bits. This one has a name on it too. Huh? I'm going to do these for a minute. I will um, hold some of them up. Ooh, that one has a name on it too. Let's see. I did get these at a estate sale. Orenzia or something. So there are some with names on them. So you can definitely resell these individually if you wanted to sit down and, you know, pair them all up. I can't guarantee that every single one of them has a mate. So I just don't, I haven't gone through them all. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this at $10 for the entire, the entire jewelry lot. And um, we're going to do it in dollar increments for one minute. And when it, as soon as Emma tells me to tell you to start, you can start bidding. When the timer goes off, she will type in stop and whomever's bid is right before that will be the winner with the highest bid. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah, but people are commenting, but oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, some if I'm I'll give you a second. If it's pixelated, refresh or end it and come back in again. We haven't started yet. We haven't started yet. Don't bid yet. Don't bid yet. Wait till I say start. Okay. I agree, Nita. Never look at something for what it is, but look at it for what it could be. Hi, June. Okay, so we don't. So we haven't started bidding yet. Tell me when to start, Emma. Start. 
Okay, and start. It's $10 is the starting bid for the entire box of jewelry. And Emma's going to, so we've got, ooh, 35, I see 45. 45 right now is the highest bid. There's 50. 50, so 50 right now is the highest bid for the entire box of 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. I see 60. I see 65. I see 66. Sixty-eight, seventy, seventy-seven, one hundred. It's at one hundred dollars. Five, four, three, two. All right. So Emma's. I have one hundred and one. Okay, one hundred and one dollars mid-century wasted is who Emma has. Wow. Okay. That was, yeah, I mean, there are some, this is a, this one is a brooch, actually. That one's complete. So you have to let me know if you find any, like, because you could find a couple of them that you could sell two of them and make your, you know, pretty much make what you just, what you just bought, huh? Or if you make something, like, people make those Christmas tree pictures out of brooches. So that would be cool. Okay. All right, L let's keep going. I do have one more thing that I will be doing that style of sell with. This is really cute and his tag fell in to him. This is a Shawnee, I believe it's Shawnee. Ricky, <laughs> I'll have to, I believe that this is Shawnee. Um, it is so, so cute. A uh, little chick, little pitcher. This is in excellent condition. I know that some of these have some coloring to them. Some of them are pink bodies. Some of them are blue bodies. This one's just a cream colored body. He's so cute. He looks so cute with flowers in, in him. He's got a little bow right there, but look at that face. The gold trim. Really, really, really good piece. This is $14, and it is number 41. $14, number 41, for the little chick Shawnee planter. I have Carolina Princess Sweet Treats. Oh, and we get to write your name. Carolina, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Emma loves writing your name down. It's a nice name. <laughs> All right, I already sold this one and that one. Let's do another tablecloth. This one I like. It's very Grecian looking, I think. Um, yeah, Alex has some jewelry. Maybe she'll pull some jewelry lots out for her sale on Friday. I'm probably putting a lot of pressure on her, but I, I've seen Alex's jewelry lots. And she's got a lot of jewelry. So this is very Grecian looking. It's going to be hard to pick up, but this is like a pale pink. It's very hard. It's not coming across pink. It looks white. But then it has this gold all the way around it. And so it goes all the way around the tablecloth. This one does have a coffee stain on it right there. It's been washed but not treated. And it has a little ink stain right there. Really fun vintage tablecloth. It is $12.00. And it's number 47. $12, number 47 for the vintage, kind of a card table size uh, tablecloth. Chantilly Chandra. Chantilly Chandra. I love saying that name. Hi, Kelly. Kelly's going to, Kelly, Kelly wants the Snoopy card again. I'm excited because her classroom is Snoopy. Mmm. Michelle, tomorrow is having a show. Michelle Comfy Cozy Living is having her Christmas in July sale tomorrow. So that's going to be at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. So make sure that you join me because I'm going to be watching because you all know I love Christmas. So we'll be tuning in to Michelle's sale tomorrow. I've got some little pig shakers. Salt and pepper shaker alert. 
Salt and pepper shaker alert. These are very salty. That's kind of a, maybe a pun intended. Salty pigs. Look at their faces. They are annoyed and they are sick of being your salt and pepper shaker. Um, oh, she's going early tomorrow. Yes, Michelle, wait a minute. Are you going early tomorrow? Are you still at one o'clock tomorrow? And Nicole Nesting Haven is going, she's having her milk tomorrow at seven. Okay, no, not tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is one hour earlier. Yeah, she told me that and I've already forgotten. So, Michelle's live will be at noon Eastern. Does Michelle ship to, ship to Canada? I think so. Do you ship to Canada, Michelle? It is expensive to ship to Canada, which is crazy, but they are sick of being your salt and pepper shakers. Now, this guy, the salt, the salty guy, has a little chip out of his nose right there. But look at his nose. <laughs> it's just so funny. So they've got really pretty flowers on each side. And look at their little tails. They're hand painted, which is nice because it all looks very different. And they do both have their shakers. They are eight dollars and they are number eight. Eight dollars, number eight. My Christmas in July sale is going to be next week, next Wednesday. And let me tell you, I got a lot of Christmas stuff. I am Michelle Newton. Michelle Newton. I might be doing two Christmas sales. We'll just see. But I my Christmas in July sale will be next Wednesday. So Everything that I'm going to show you next Wednesday will be all Christmas. And a lot of things that my mom has made too, um, that she had made last year for us to sell in the shop. So I have some of those things left over as well. So I will be showing all Christmas next week. Okay. I know, trust me, Alicia, I, these live sales take up three whole days of my day. So my eBay listings have kind of, I mean, that's a whole other story. Okay, this is a dustpan plant planter wall pocket. So you can hang it on your wall. Doesn't it look like a little face? It's like, I'm so sick of being hang on the wall. Anyway, that's where my mind goes. I see faces and everything. These are cherries. I think, Michelle, do you think those look like cherries to you? And um, this is in great condition. I got this from George. I believe it's probably, to me, it feels like it's like a California pottery piece and it is really uh um crazed yeah thrift you is having a sale tonight i think yeah thrift you put in i i need to i need to update okay 8 p.m central is thrift you sales sale tonight so it's 9 p.m eastern so this is a cute little wall pocket. I got this from George's. It was hanging up on George's wall in his um, estate sale house. I know it's so cute, isn't it? See the little handle? It is $14. I'll put it on the side of his face. $14 and it's number 40. Yeah, super cute. You could put some greenery in that and hang it in your kitchen. Very fun. You got the dustpan. Little perch there. Okay. Let's do shaker alert. It's a shaker alert. I've got a rooster shaker. I got this from George as well. It's a rooster with its little eggs attached. And the eggs just kind of hang here on the side. Now this one says S for salt. It has its stopper. This one, it says SNP. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know why it has an SNP, but if this is, would be the P, apparently. It is missing its stopper. But they are sitting on this really fun little chicken here. It's not marked anything on the bottom. It is a set. Yep. This is $12 for the set, and it is number four. $12 for number four has this just really pretty green avocado green color. I have Don Olivio. Don Olivio. 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 I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Oh, make sure that you do email me. 
thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com you know i was pulling some of this stuff and i thought i don't have a lot of advertisement pieces but i have i have two advertisement pieces and one of them is kind of near and dear and i pulled this off of my own collection because i'm running out of room and it is this band-aid tin now this one is vintage it does not have the barcode and they don't make these metal tins anymore laura bemos just saying um so <laughs> it is band-aid plastic strips now i have a whole band-aid tin collection in my bathroom and i like the curated band-aids tins more i like the graphics on them a little bit more so this is the value pack so you know you could keep q-tips in here i mean you can make them functional as well as part of your decor bye tri-state picker i know michael that's why i was telling laura so this is a vintage band-aid tin it is five dollars and it's number 12. i have to say that when you're out at yard sales or estate sales and you know you always look in the garages and the cabinets you know things like this are hiding in boxes they just need to be cleaned up a little bit and you can use them in your decor and they're just a really cool piece of advertisement that you can use d the thrill of the thrift so don't don't discount finding paint cans and things like that because there is a resale value for them because people are using them as decor pieces all right i did get a piece of hull h-u-l-l -L, pottery from george's it's just a little nugget vase i thought it was really pretty i i like hull and i like roseville pottery it isn't really my aesthetic in my home now depending on the color i think jeffrey picked up a I don't know if it's Roseville or a whole vase. That's this teal color that I absolutely love. But it's a really pretty color. A kind of browns, muted earth tones in this little vase here. It's in great condition. There's no chips, cracks, or flaws on it. It is marked Hull Pottery USA. Hi, Mom. I sold your pillow already, Mother. And this is $12.00. And it is number 32. $12, number 32 for the Hull little base. Karen Rad, or we said 32? Uh, number 32. Oh, sorry, Karen. Kelly Miller. Kelly Miller. Karen Emma said you typed in the wrong number. We have to just go by. Whoever typed the actual number in first, because then we'll get we get into some tricky situations sometimes. Okay, I have a set of towels. These were in my haul video. I almost kept these. In fact, I I actually even put them in my closet, in my linen closet. And I thought you don't need these. They don't match your bathroom. These dog towels. Let me show you the washcloth will be the best example. They all look like this. They've got pink and black. They're in excellent condition. They're made by Creative Bath. They're made in Brazil. Aren't they so cute? So you get a washcloth. You get, and these have all been cleaned. I've washed them all. You get a hand towel. And they're that, they feel good. They're like a thick, nice, towel and the bath towel with the little scotty dogs on them so cute they're very clean there's no stains on them they feel almost new and they are oh where did i put the price tag did i put it on yeah they are you get all three of them for 18 dollars, and they are number 49 Eighteen dollars, number forty-nine for the set of three Scotty Dog bath towels. And if they don't sell, I am gonna keep them. Forty-nine. I have Kylie Cat S. Kylie Cat S. They're so cute. I think they're adorable. I love Scotty Dogs. All right, Brooch Alert! Brooch Alert! This one is really cool. I. I showed this one to Jeffrey. He was like, oh, I like it. And <laughs> Alex is going to like this one too. 
I don't know if they showed Alex this or not, but it is a, well, it, as my dad would say, it is a Framingo, a Framingo brooch. Look at how fancy he is. He's got really pretty pink, um, oh, jewels and a little green eye. Kind of an enamel, almost a cloisonne look. I don't think that it, it's not cloisonne, but it has that cloisonne look to his tail. And he has the lobster claw clasp. He is not marked. He is very fancy, Katie. He's very fancy. He is $14. And he is number 52. $14, number 52 for the Flamingo brooch. I have Pat C. Pat C. You win the Flamingo brooch. Let's do the other rolling pin. This is the small rolling pin. It, it, I think that this is, you know, made for a, like probably a child's cooking set. And I, you know, I priced it accordingly, but I, I just like, I like using rolling pins to shove in a, in a crock somewhere. So having different sizes and different colors just add a little bit of interest. Oh, bye, Nate. And um, it is, this is number, no, I can tell you what number it is. It's $3 and it's number 14. $3, number 14, for the red handled rolling pin. $3, number 14. Yeah, Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. Nate's going to bed. Wait, was that the red one? That was the red one. Did I have it numbered wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I fixed it. Okay. This is a recipe box i i love these i like them because they're functional and you can display on them and they're just fun so this one is made by globe wernicke cincinnati so it has the little makers label right there on the front it's got these tongue and groove sides it does have a little nick in the top of it and now, the num you, if you're seeing the numbers first, you'll need to refresh. Refresh or exit and then come back in. That will help refresh your page. So this one, and I left this in here because I just, I like finding little things like this in here. But it is number 84C, the junior tray, whatever that means. But it is a recipe box, and it has all the tabs in here for the alphabet. And I don't think, let me just double check. I don't think there's any recipes in here. Oh, maybe. Ooh, you know what? There is a few things in here. There is a newspaper cutout of the Tourney Champs, the Bedford Eagles Club. So this is a local piece to me. So I don't know what year this was. Oh, Friday, March 26th, 1954. So that's kind of fun. And then these are Little 66 Station, Bedford Motors, 1952. So they were getting a gas. So they got four gallons of gas for $1.10. That's great. Five gallons of gas for $1.35. Like, I love that they kept these. <laughs> Why? Why did you keep these? Um, 12 gallons of gas for $3.21. So these are fun. Fun. So you get this little, um, I don't know if it's a recipe box or just a, a file a file box. It's a $14 and it is number 42. It is good junk journal material. $14, number 42. I believe that this is oak as well. I have Kelly Miller. Kelly Miller. Okay, let's, uh, someone was asking about the owls, so let's do the owls. They are, I, these, I know they came in a set, and these are exactly the same. I'm selling them together, and, um, so these are being sold together. They're kind of that foamy, 
backing. They do both have their hangers on them, but they look so cute. You could, you know, hang them at an angle or hang them on each side of something. They're in great condition. They are $12 for the set and they're number 17. $12 for the set, number 17. I have Dawn Dawn Olivier. No. No? Dawn? Olivio. Olivio. Ooh, Olivier. Who is that act the actor that's Olivier? Lawrence Olivier. That's who I'm thinking of. Okay, this is gonna be popular. I just know. And this is something that I kept for a while, but then I decided I don't need this. I need to give it, let somebody else enjoy it because I was keeping essential oil bottles in it. So, and it is this really pretty. This is made by um, Ramco. I can't remember. Ram. Did I write it on my notes, Emma? This planter. This number. Did I write it on the list? Remco. Maybe Ricky knows. It's called Remco or something like that. But it is a deer planter on a little stump. It's not Shawnee. I know that. I think it's like Remco or something. But it has this beautiful mint green little fawn on it on around the little stump. It is a planter. It's in excellent condition. There aren't any chips. Relpo. No, it wasn't Relpo. Relpo. I don't know. It's cute. And it is $16 and it is number six. $16 number six for the little deer and tree stump planter. Suzanne McLean. Jeffrey had a deer. Yeah, I I found it. Um, I, I thought it was Shawnee for the longest time, but it but it isn't. And I knew it wasn't um Hall. I knew I knew it wasn't um uh, Royal Copley. But I, I, I like the deer. The deer is what sold it to me because I love the color on that deer. Ricky did help me with this picture. It is American Bisque. So thank you, Ricky, for being, she's so helpful. And this one is marked USA on the back. Now this originally would have came with a lid. So it was like a teapot. Uh, it does not, obviously does not have the lid anymore. It is in excellent condition. There's no chips or flaws on it anywhere. I love the scroll work on the handle and the gold trim on the flower. And you can see here on the bottom. And it is $12 and it's number 24. Look really pretty with some flowers in it to be used as a flower vase. $12, number 24. Um, I have Robin A. Robin A. <clears throat> okay, here's another something that just Fabco. Maybe, maybe it is Fabco. I, I've looked so, up so many different things and I get, sometimes I get them confused. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, wait, where did you go? Where did you go? Nancy Caldwell. Happy birthday. So I bought this because I like the color. It's my color. And I, I don't know. It's just, it, I don't think that it has a barcode on it. So it's not that, it's not that vintage. But still for a display, I think it would be really neat. Fredericksburg Art Pottery. Yes, I, I think you're probably right. I want to say it was like, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I, this is in a little, it's in a little bit of condition. But I just like these bird books. I don't know why I do, but I do. I like them. This one is $5 and it's number 28. There is someone, a little child had taken a pen and colored on that owl. But, you know, I, I have like several boxes like this so you can stack books in it. I don't know. I just, I like these bird books for some odd reason. I kept one of them. You already showed the numbers. So. Oh. 
Okay, so I just liked it. Um, Alicia Daniel DIY. Alicia Daniel DIY. You could take, you know, you could tear this apart. It doesn't hurt me. It won't hurt my feelings if you did because it's more modern. But you could, you know, junk journaling and stuff with it. But oh, what is that? It's telling you bird banding, bird photography. It has, does have really neat pictures in it though. Okay, move on, Misty. I got these from George. There's only two of them. They would have came in a probably set of six. And they are these vintage drunk people coasters. This one says, sure had a wonderful time last night. And he is hungover. And then this one says, certainly I'm going to drive. Ain't no condition to walk. And he's talking to a police officer. Bad. But I like the graphics on them. So I did, I did get these from George. I thought that they would be kind of neat. If you put a magnet on the back and you can make them magnets for a refrigerator, for like a man cave or something like that. I don't know. You could even put little hangers on them and hang them on the wall if you want to. But there's only two of them. You get both of them for $5 and they're number 56. Number 56 for both of the vintage man cave. I'm going to say they're vintage man cave coasters. Michelle Newton. Michelle Newton. Yeah, I just thought... It's things like that that they're not complete, but they, they can still have a new purpose again. Like this guy. I've had a lot of people message me about this guy. Now, he's got some condition issues. He does. But he was, I don't know. He, to me, he's worth saving. He's a little hand dog or she. I keep calling him a he because I think that he has a bow tie on. But he has a little chain that he would have had his babies. But it could be a dad. It could be a dad dog with his babies, right? Now, he has some condition issues. He has a, where he's got a little crack in his ear where some pieces are missing on that side. And it appears that his entire foot has been broken off and glued back on. He was a bank at one time. He does not have his stopper. He is made by Artmark, which I love Artmark pieces myself. So he's made in Japan. You know, but he is just cute. And if you have a hound dog or a basset, basset hound, he's, he's tall. I tend to like things with some height on them for display. So I just thought that he was worth, he was worth rescuing. He's got a snot issue. Well, maybe. Look at that face. He does have a little, is that, it looks like he had a little chip in his nose, but he doesn't. He doesn't have a chip in his nose, but he does have his whole is foot that was good. Right is there a what? Hole on yeah. I already said that. He's got like chips and stuff in his ear. He's $5 and he will be wrapped very, very well to prevent any other damage. But he's $5 and he's number 26. Five dollars, number twenty-six for the Hound Dog Bank. Oh, Ricky said that the Deer Planter is attributed to Morton Pottery. That I love Morton Pottery, and I, I didn't see that any in any of my research, but I, I trust you because you, you tend to know, you know a lot about the stuff that I like. Would you Kim, get him? Kim Zap. Kim Zap. I'm gonna give him a mobile update. Mm. If they can see it. Oh, that's what Maybelle's doing right now. She's sleeping. <laughs> yes, we have a video camera to watch our dog sleep. It's actually just a security camera that has night vision. We just kind of laid it on the top of her cage. <laughs> An ear pa pa piercing makes him more modern. Okay, salt and pepper shaker alert. Salt and pepper shaker alert. I've got this really fun set of rooster salt and pepper shakers they have been hand painted with roosters on them i like that they've got the little flower motif on the back and the way that it's painted i think that it's really pretty you had morton pottery okay that makes it even better i love morton pottery i like the muted uh, ceramic work on them 
So salt and pepper shaker, rooster salt and pepper shaker. They are made in Japan. It's kind of hard to make out. They do not have their stoppers. They had tape over them and I had to empty out the uh, salt and pepper that was inside them. They're $10 for the set and it's, they are number four. $10 for the set, number four. There is a little bit of discoloration in the, um, oh, Mike's, Michael said, I bet if you streamed Sleeping Puppy, people would watch the heck out of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Emma's going, oh. Did you? These are number four. No, they're not. They're not number four? No, but I'll figure it out. Emma will figure Did it you out. you saw Green Rooster Yeah, this one. You sold that? I sold that one. It was, okay. number, it was number number four. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> right. It's okay. Um, Shirley Pearl got the one you showed me. Shirley Pearl, you got these. They're actually number nine. They were number nine, actually. But we're, Shirley got them at the number that I said. Okay, this was a thing that was in my preview video. I've had this in the shop for a little while. It is a wine decanter. And it has this really pretty etched grapes and bows and ivy, grape, grape ivy, grape leaves on it. It has a beautiful stopper that's made out of glass. It's in excellent condition. There is a, a glass flaw. It's not a chip. It's just a flaw right there in the glass. Um, I don't... Don't know if this is hand blown. I, I want to say that it is, but if there's there's not a Pontel mark on it, and if there was, it's been filed down. But it's stunning. It really, really is. Oh, buy vintage thrifted treasures, Laura. But I and I love this sound. Doesn't that sound like I'm gonna pour me a glass of wine? Talk about days of our lives, you know, you could be like in a soap opera. Pour your wine in this and you'll be fancy. I think it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. This is $25 and it's number 46 for the wine fancy decanter. Number 46, $25. Crafty Jackie. Oh, Crafty Jackie. You're going to have some wine now. There are some controlled, no, it's not, they're not controlled bubbles, they are just air bubbles in here. They weren't meant to be in here, but fancy, Jackie. All right, next, salt and pepper shaker alert. Now, I don't, I don't know why that I, why I bought these, but I did, and they were the very, very first thing that I picked up when I went to Georgia's. It was the very first thing in my hand. It was in my video. It's for your daughter, Jackie. Yeah, you're a good mama buying your daughter a wine decanter. My mom needs to buy me a bottle of wine. Um, you know what? I'm not a bit scared to ship that. I don't have any fear shipping things like that. I wrap them very, very well. So I, I don't have any fear shipping it. Okay, so <laughs> these are vintage, but... They are vintage. They're Amish count, Amish country shakers. They've got buggies on them. It's a salt and pepper shaker. It's just a souvenir piece. They are made by Lipco. They are from Taiwan. She buys you wine, Jackie. Boop. So I, I like, I like, I'm fascinated with the Amish, like the way that they live and how they like, they're not, they don't have electricity and things like that. I don't know. I'm just weird. But so I, these are the very first thing that I picked up. So they are $5 for the set and they are number 39. $5 number 39 for the Amish country shakers. Corey the thrifted artist. Corey. Corey the thrifted artist got the Amish shakers. You know, one thing that a show that we've been addicted to watching is Flora's Lava on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's fun. We watched the entire I series. Like it's sort of like Wipeout, but it, I don't know. It's on Netflix. It's called Floor is Lava. It's like a game show. Okay. This I think is going to be popular too. And this is, this is beautiful. 
This is beautiful. It's hand painted from Japan and it is this beautiful gazelle planter. Look at her. Isn't she so pretty? It's got the design on the back too. And it, to me, it kind of looks like a, um, a sunset, like a, a, at dusk. Isn't it pretty with the gazelle leaping? It is marked hand painted Japan on the bottom. There isn't any, any chips or flaws on it anywhere. I think I thought it was super pretty. It is $18 and it's number two. It, it very much, it's very art deco. It does look like it's almost airbrushed on there. I thought it was so pretty. I have. I like the shape of it too. Cheryl Megason? Uh, Cheryl Megason. That's, that's who we have. So make sure that you do send me an email, thriftorjunk or vintage hunter at gmail.com. Once you've purchased from me, then I'll have your information. So you can still send me an email. That is helpful. But, and I know like for, for other sales, you must send them an email. I will, I'll find you if I have your information, but it, it, it's considerate to send an email. Um, shipping address and PayPal. Hmm. I need your shipping address, your actual name, and your PayPal email. All right, shaker alert, salt and pepper shaker alert. Oh, bye, Jackie. These are super cute. These little, they're little stocky ducks. Look at them. Now this one, the beaks are cold painted on. So the orange is coming off in spots. And he's got some orange on his feathers still. But this one does not. They do not have the stoppers. Yeah, they would be cute for Easter. Um, they are $10 for the pair, and they are number 30. $10 for the pair of little baby ducks, number 30. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. This was a book that I got from George's, and I talked about it in my haul with him that I did last week. It's Beauty Treatments for the Home. Again... It's the color that first sucked me to it from across the room. Yes, Granny. Granny's Attic, if you want something, it's the first person to claim the, the item number. If you're lagging a little bit, refresh, and it should help get caught up. And then you'll send me an email at Thrift or Junk or Vintage Hunter, and I'll send you an invoice. And I do combine shipping. So beauty treatments for the home. So this is all about, like, curtains and slip covers and beauty treatments for your home. It's copyright date is 1942. Oh, look at that. Don't those beds look so comfortable? They don't really. But the smart way to make drapery, slip covers, lampshades, accessorize, or accessories, how to upholster, reupholster, finish, and refinish furniture by Kay Hardy. You're doing the teacher book hold right now. What? You're doing the teacher book hold. Oh, I'm doing the teacher book hold. I'm sorry. It's just, it's ingrained in me. I've done it, did it for years. But look at how fancy. I like just looking at the pictures and I like the way that things are worded just because it's a, it's a, it's a time gone past and people don't really use this kind of terminology for any, anything anymore. Wallpapering the walls. But honestly, there's probably a lot of good information in here. So this book is $8 and it's number 29. It'd be great for a display. I always look at that too, how you can use a book in the, in the, as display in your home. And it's just got a lot of fun information in there. So beauty treatments for the home. 29, number 29, $8. Do you have a winner, Emma? 29 mid-century wisdom. Mid-century wasted. Set that on top of your jewelry. Just fun. I like I like looking through it. Should we do another? I, should we do the other auction bidding thing? I think you guys are gonna like it. I've already gotten a lot of emails about it. It's wonderful. It's lovely. I bought it at the Katie's Antique Mall in Katie's, Kentucky, and it is the paint by number horse or. Colt. 
So, oh, there is a glare. It is a paint by number course. I bought this in Kentucky. If you win it, I will send it with the frame or without the frame. You just need to let me know. The frame itself, it doesn't weigh that much and I will pack it well. So it, it, does, it does have glass on it. So just let me know. I'm happy to send it in the frame. It isn't that, going to be that hard to pack up. I will say before we start, there is a little bit of water damage here on this side. Can you see that? So there is a little bit of, of water damage. I'm just trying to show you the scale. It's kind of an eight by 10 size. This is where the price tag, I need to use some Goo Gone to get the price tag sticker residue off. But it's a beautiful piece with those colors are just lovely. Uh, and I just, I just really like it. I love these paint by number pieces. So the way that this works is I'm going, Emma's going to hit start. There will be a timer for one minute and I'm going to, I'm not going to start. You have to wait until I say start. So I am, when I do say I'm going to start at $10 and the person who, ty who types in the highest amount right before Emma will type in stop will be the winner. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this a try. And this will be kind of fun, this is kind of interesting. So we're gonna start at $10 and Emma will let me know when to start. I will give you like a 30 seconds and that kind of stuff so you'll know. All right, and, Mine's buffering, so give me oh, we're gonna give a minute because Emma said she's buffering. Oh, yep, it is buffering. No, it's the, the laptop is buffering too. Should I turn the Wi-Fi off maybe now? Watching it. Okay. I'm gonna wait until I'm not buffering anymore so you haven't missed anything. We're gonna wait until the buffering goes away. Laura says I'm fine. So everybody may want to refresh. I'm watching myself. It's a little delayed, so I'm watching myself on the laptop, and it's a little weird. Let me know if I get pixelated again, because I'll turn the Wi-Fi back on. Okay. Is it fine for everybody? It's just pixelated. It's... it's a, is it real? No. Okay. Well, it's delayed. Okay. So, here we go. Pixely, but not buff. Okay, so I'll keep the pixelating on right now since you've already seen this. And then I'll go back to turning the Wi-Fi off. I just don't want to buffer. Yeah, now it's pixelated. It's so delayed. Not unless it's just my computer. That's No, but it's like really delayed. Okay. So it's going to be pixelated right now, but I'm going to keep it with the Wi-Fi on just during the bidding time and then I'll go back. Okay, so are we ready? I'm starting it at $10 and start. $10 is the starting bid, starting offer. So delayed. 14, I have 15, $15. We're doing it in dollar increments. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 16, 20. Whole dollars, yes, I have $20, $20 right now. 10 seconds, $20 for the paint by number horse. 21, 22, 25. Two. I have 25. I have 25 Stacy Heisey. Stacy Heisey at $25. 
you won the paint by number horse. Now let me turn the Wi-Fi on. Gotta do bitter, 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 bitter. I don't think I can do that. So I turned the Wi-Fi back off, so the pixelation should go away. So we can I can show you. I've got one, two, three, four, like six more things. So Stacy Hi Heisey, you won for twenty-five dollars. All right. This caused a little bit of a debate. This little Scotty dog. I have one of these listed in my eBay store. So. If you wanted this and you didn't win it, I do have one in my eBay store that you can check out. This, people were saying that it was a creamer. Ricky, Ricky, we need you, Ricky. People were saying that it was a creamer. People were saying that it was a candy dish. I I just kind of think that, to me, it just looks like it's a pipe holder for a pipe. I don't know. But it's another little Scotty dog. It's like a Scotty dog theme today. It could be a planter. It could be like a planter that you could see the roots and stuff growing. It's a little Scotty dog. Let me see if Ricky has commented anything. But it's weird, though, because his half of his face is missing. It's a planter. Pipe holder. I kind of thought it was a pipe stand, too. But some Barb thinks it's a creamer. Now, his tail does have like a little handle on it. So it could be business card. It could be whatever you would want it to be, actually. It's a little Scotty dog. It has a little bit of a flaw in the glass right there. It's not sharp, so it's not, you know, a chunk that's out of it. But it is, you know, it is there. But he's super cute. He is $8, and it is number 54. $8, number 54. I don't know. I just thought that, like, you put your pipe right there, like the neck of the pipe. I don't know. Who knows? It could be what you want. It is $8, and it's number 54. Sabrina Rezor. Sabrina Rezor. Now, listen, if you don't know this, I got one in my eBay store. And if I will, if I, I don't remember what I have it listed for, but I will sell it to you for $8 as well. So if you go to my eBay store, um, you can you can get it there. And I'll send me, I'll send you an offer. Okay, here's another piece of clear glass. I just got this the day that I picked up Maybell. June refresh teaspoon holder. Did Ricky ever comment? Yeah, he said she. She said creamer held candy initially. It was a creamer, but it held candy initially. Hell candy, well that would make, so it's probably like a promotional piece that you eat the candy and then you can use it as a creamer. So the, everybody was right, except for the pipe people, like me. This is another piece of, now I, I don't normally pick up clear glass. Let me find something that's white. Will that work? No. I don't normally pick up clear glass pieces because it's, 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 it's a harder thing to sell. Uh, but, I held up this this is a little creamer yeah but you see the etched flowers in there i just thought it was pretty because of the flowers how it was etched bye stacy so i picked this up there's the bottom of it it doesn't have any any damage on it oh wait okay that's a bit I don't want to get my price tags confused but it, this is a creamer i do know that this is a creamer but i thought it was really pretty with the etched flower on there so, this is $8, and it is number 55. $8, number 55. It even has, like, etched glass around, you know, the, the top here, too. I just thought it was really pretty. $8, number 55. For the crema. All righty. This is the, the clear glass does match everything. You're right. This is the, the other advertisement piece that I picked up. And it is Oak Cedar Wax. And I do believe that this was a, a magazine advertisement that somebody had put in a frame. The frame itself almost resembles uh, bamboo in a way. 
but it's for O Cedar Wax. Um, protects and beautifies your car. Um, it's it, well, it says Channel Chemical Company, Chicago, Toronto, London, Paris, Cape Town. So I just think that this is another cool piece for a man cave or a gift for uh, you know someone who sells cars. Um, it is. It does come in the frame. Again, I will send this out of the frame if you would want to save a little bit on shipping. Uh, but it wouldn't be that difficult for me to ship in the frame. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it either way. It does have the hanger on the back. This says that it is a 10 by 13 size. I do believe that this is like, it is the, an original frame that goes with this backing. But the, that the piece of O Cedar is an advertisement piece that was from like a look magazine or a life magazine which is a good idea you know if you are buying these magazines and they've got really cool advertisements in them which a lot of them do you can frame them this is fifteen dollars fifteen dollars number 45 the o cedar wax advertisement piece subscribers nobody wants the old cedar thing <coughs> thanks sis okay so i've got two little mugs here two little stackable mugs bar murphy you want 45 the number cut out man i don't know what the deal is with youtube today hopefully i'm, I'm going live again at five o'clock eastern with george so i hope i don't have this issue again by side street market i've got four more things and i'm going over to instagram I've been a little talky today, which isn't anything unusual. Okay, these little stackable mugs are made in Japan. There would have been two more. I sold a set of these last week as well. I like the earth tone colors, it's like a little drip glaze mug. So I had two of them left that were just kind of sitting there and I thought, you know, somebody might want these. And they are $8 for the set of them and they are number 10. $8 for the set and they're number 10. I like that they stack. It doesn't take much to uh, to make me happy and a good stacking mug that will go in your cabinet. I don't know. It just does it for me for some reason. Lori Potter. Brown and blue. I about said corn alert. Nobody cares about corns. It is a shaker alert. They are shakers that are that are corns. So that's why I said corn alert, but Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's exciting. It's always exciting. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I've got some anthropomorphic corns. These were in the video. I bought these from Katie's Kentucky. Oh, my phone says it's at 15%. That's not good. You have a single one of these, Michelle? Well, these are just fun. They do have, have their stoppers. They are marked Japan on the bottom. I love anthropomorphic things because you all know I like things with faces on them. And who would have thought just putting the face on a piece of corn would make me so happy, but it does. These are just fun. And it's Indiana and they're corns. You know, I don't know. Yes, it is. You see that back there? It's going to be next. That jadeite is going to be next. Okay, so these are corns. Now, the the black is cold painted on there. So this guy has a little bit. He's like, he's, he needs a little bit of a face job. So, or a facelift. So you could like paint his face if you really wanted to. I kind of don't. I kind of like him a little What's scrappy looking. Out? It's plugged into that thing over there. It's not plugged into a plug. It's plugged into that. Okay, anyway, the corns. They are $15 for the pair, and they are number 57. $15 for the pair, and they are number 57. He's got a little bit of brown paint dripped on him there, but I like them. All right, I'm seeing Mid-Century Wasted for number 57. You got them. I'll put them with your jewelry and your book. Oh, with the tag back on them. 
Mid Century Wasted has a fun YouTube channel too. You guys should go check her channel out. Does your corns have Elvis hair? They kind of do. They kind of do have Elvis hair. Okay, we're gonna do the jadeite. I've got a jadeite plate they, in the Jeanette pattern. And I have, oh, look at Emma's, Emma's plugging me in. You're a good girl, Emma. Thanks. She's a good little helper girl. When she was little, she would help clean. I don't know how to fix that. That's okay. It's a little, it's all right. And she would say, I'm your little helper girl, mama. She still is my little helper girl. Okay, so this is a piece of Jeanette. You can see the pattern right there. Fire King. Just one. Just one plate. I got this from George's. There was just one plate. So I got the one plate. Um, but the plate is $9. And it is number 38. $9, number 38 for the Jadeite Jeanette plate. I see D, the thrill of the thrift. You number 38. But wait, there's more. I have, unfortunately, I have three and not four, but I have three. I, they're not Jane. I'm sorry. It's Jane Ray, not Jeanette. I'm sorry. I, did, I do that all the time. They are Jane Ray, not Jeanette. These are also Jane Ray, not Jeanette. Uh, little mugs, little tea mugs. I say tea mugs because... Is that working? Uh, check your charger connection. Uh, no. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's working. Okay, so these are Jane Ray, not Jeanette, tea mugs, Jadeite. They are Fire King. Marked Fire King on the bottom. There are three of them, not four, unfortunately. We don't call those thrift store three, but I did get these from George. So they got the George factor. He's just a magical man. So they are $16 for all three of them, and they're number 34. $16 for all three of the mugs, number 34. Jane Ray, not Jeanette. Sue T. Sue T. Yeah, the shipping to Canada is really ridiculous. I hate that it's so much. And guys, that's it. It was a long one, but it was a fun one too. I think I'm going to try doing the, let me know and go back in the comments, not in the chat, but in the comments and let me know if you like just a couple things sprinkled in as, as an auction. I disabled Super Chat because I just kind of feel like if you want to support me, watch my videos, leave comments in the videos, buy something from my sales or from eBay, get something out of it. You know, I mean, just so that's the way that you can support me. You don't have to send me a Super Chat. And YouTube keeps 30% of a Super Chat. So that's a little, that's a little much. So I disabled the Super Chat. So, I'm going to head on over to, wait, Katie wants to see the clear glass again. Let me show you, Katie. This is the only thing that didn't sell, and it was the little uh, cut glass or etched glass creamer. It's $8, and it's number 55. $8, number 55 for this. So, let me know, Katie, if you get it. Don't disable super chat for people like me. We're shipping. Listen, you don't. You can just watch my videos. Okay, Katie, vintage, um, vintage vinyl. Once number fifty-five. Gotcha, Katie. Um, you can support me by watching my videos and leaving a comment, and giving a thumbs up. That is wonderful. That's a wonderful way to be able to show support to a YouTube creator, and you know, you don't have to buy anything or send money. So that's that's the best way to do it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a little, I'm a little here, there, and everywhere, but that's my mood today. Go, to Go over to Instagram, Thrifter Junker, Vintage Hunter. I got 15 more items to sell over there. Don't forget to send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And I will be back live again tonight at 5 Eastern with George the Antique Nomad. And we're going to talk about the other things that I picked up from his estate sale. So. I'll see you guys over in Instagram and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.